look through setting up the Mondraker Mind and connecting it to your phone. First things first, get yourself a cup of tea. You work on a bike, drink a cup of tea. Second thing, there are two places you need to charge them. This is the slave unit and you plug in a USB cable under there, USB-C. But the primary is in this thing. We need to take off the little tab. We've got a close-up of this in a minute. There's another USB-C part under here. This one's your master, this one's where your Bluetooth lives. I just bought this one for a good while and it was really confusing. So, connect that back on. Once both units are fully charged, I think it takes about 20 minutes and the charge lasts for 20 days. We go into the Mondraker app. This is on Android. We add, well, you log in and you add a bike and you add via serial number. You use the QR lookup and then you see me and then you point at your mind serial. It then finds a the serial, it tells you your bike, we add that, okay, and then we say, it says, do you want to connect? We connect, it picks it up immediately, tick it there. The password is your serial number again, so you use the QR code again, and then give it a minute, and we are connected. Accept. Then we can go to my bike. Mismatch detected. Uh, I haven't been out on a ride with it yet, so I'll give it a minute. Right. So we open the Mondraker Mind app. Recap. Or do this at the same time, maybe. Who knows? So you open the Mondraker app, you add your bike, and you scan for the QR code. QR code is located under your mind unit. You scan that, it'll pick up your bike, and then it'll say, do you want to connect via Bluetooth? We say yes. You then ask you for a password. That is the QR code again. So we scan it again, and then it'll let you in and connect. And it'll tell you, as mine does, my sag's already wrong. So, so let's go for a ride and sort it out. Hopefully this guy's simple enough and you won't have any trouble. Enjoy your cup of tea.